Thumbelina found her new home very comfortable and enjoyed the mouse's company. Sarah Garrison is 30 years old. She has cerebral palsy and intellectual disability. She was born in 92 at a time when they were still encouraging people to put children like Sarah in an institution and just forget about her. And I said, no. Sarah has always lived at home. The Garrisons qualify for state services to help. They lived in Indiana 20 years where state funded help came over three days a week to bathe and feed and provide personal care for Sarah. They managed to take care of their citizens like Sarah. And I don't see why Oklahoma can't do it. In Oklahoma, Sarah is on a waiting list 13 years long. My biggest disappointment in moving back to Oklahoma has been that they just don't seem to value families who need these services. Oklahomans who applied for services in 2009 in Governor Brad Henry's second term are still waiting. In 2009, President Barack Obama had just taken office. Gas was $2.50 a gallon. And thousands of Oklahoma families who applied way back then have been waiting ever since. And pretty much we've always had a waiting list. So there was a long period of time where there wasn't funding being allocated to this. Um, so that's how the list began to build up. In the past 10 years, the state legislature has added one or two million dollars additional each year to help shorten the waiting list. But it's not enough. The department has never been in a position where they've believed that total elimination was within reach. And for the first time, we absolutely believe total elimination is within reach this year. <laughs> Lucy McLaughlin was born with a genetic disorder. She is blind, physically and intellectually disabled. And she's been on the waiting list eight years and counting. She's our second daughter with a rare genetic disease called glycine encephalopathy. There aren't very many siblings because most choose to terminate mm -hmm. just because of the severity of the disease sure. and, and it is a, a terminal disorder. Dancing to Taylor Swift. The McLaughlins first applied for services for Lucy's big sister in 2008. Ellie Kate waited years for services. She died waiting robbed of a measure of quality of life because the waiting list here is so profoundly mismanaged. Oklahoma is so proud to be pro-life and I truly believe that if you're pro-life in the womb, you should be pro-life out of the womb. You can't just, you know, champion for a child that's unborn and then leave the child and the family when um, they're born and they're in need of services. According to state data, 116 Oklahomans have died waiting for services. Four years after Ellie Kate's death, she still hadn't been removed from the waiting list, maintained on an Excel spreadsheet at the Department of Human Services. It's awful. You know, we're in the business of meeting people's needs. We're in the business of serving people. And so anytime that we find out that someone has died while waiting, it's very sad for us. We have, we have all spent our careers wanting to serve people, um, and, and sincerely. Today, there are 5,068 Oklahomans on the waiting list. Last year, DHS hired Liberty Medical for $8 million to answer this question. How much would it take to serve every Oklahoman in need? We believe it's about $21.3 million. That's our ask of the legislature this year for elimination of the waiting list. Total elimination of the waiting list. The state plan is twofold. Fund services for every Oklahoman waiting and boost pay for care staff, the workers who serve families like the Garrisons and the McLaughlins. We are really having a hard time competing with the rest of the labor market. And these are people, the people that receive these services need, need to be able to depend that their staff are gonna show up. The state wants to increase pay for workers from $9.50 to $12 an hour to sustain the workforce needed to serve Oklahomans with disabilities. There are tons of families, yeah. similar if not in worse situations than us, mm -hmm. that, that really need Oklahoma to step up mm -hmm. and do mm -hmm. right by the least of us. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're neighbors, we're taxpayers, mm -hmm. we're citizens. It is our intent that we end this waiting list and that Oklahoma never be a waiting state again.
DHS has never asked for more than $2 million a year. This year, the legislature will consider the $21 million request this session. Allie Meyer, Oklahoma's News 4.